Today we're checking out the brand new Does It Doom Doom Saw Single Knob Chainsaw Distortion. <laughs> So I'm sure it comes as no surprise based on the name, the graphic, and the color scheme that this pedal is our take on a single knob version of the classic Boss HM2 Heavy Metal. It is in fact our latest collaboration with Nick Williams, formerly of Dunwich Amplification. Now of course over the years with Dunwich, Nick produced many awesome and memorable HM2 designs including his modded HM2, his Nihilist, and of course the Tyrant. And so he brought many years of experience and ideas to the table when it came down to designing the EQ for this very pedal. And so your standard HM2 level, high, and low EQ settings are all maxed internally and we're left with the single grief knob to control the distortion. And so what's really cool about that is that if you run the grief knob at zero or maybe just slightly above, you can take advantage of the Doomsaw's modified HM2 style gyrating EQ. And as you ramp up the grief knob, you're going to add increased levels of distortion. And so you're probably wondering what are the differences between the Doomsaw and the standard early 80s made in Japan HM2. While the Doomsaw does remain true to that classic dimed HM2 style Swedish death metal chainsaw guitar tone, we've taken the low frequency boost, increased it, and extended it over a wider range of frequencies, just adding a bunch more low end to the circuit. And then we've taken the high EQ, smoothed it out a little bit, and cut down on some of that characteristic HM2 nasal harshness. And so what you're left with is an HM2 EQ that is truly tuned for doom. It's got a ton of low end, focused in the mids, and a little bit less harsh than your typical HM2 style circuit. You're never going to make an HM2 sound like a doom saw, and likewise, your doom saw is never going to sound exactly like an HM2. Now, limited quantities of the doom saw are available for the very first time today over on the website at doesitdoom.com. I'll have a link directly below this video if you wanna head on over and get your hands on one from the very first run. And so over the years, the stock HM2 has not seen a lot of action in doom metal. But one record that does stand out to me as having a crushing chainsaw style distortion tone is Conan's Existential Void Guardian. Now that record used a combination of the Dunwich Nihilist, which was an HM2 based design, and the Dunwich Fuzz Throne, which was more of a fuzz face design. Both of those pedals were used throughout the record. You could see in his live rig, he's got both of those pedals on his board at the time. And that was one of the main inspirations for wanting to do this pedal. Just the tone on that album is absolutely crushing and I thought it would be really fun to have something that was tailored to that style of guitar tone for a more general Doom audience. Although this thing still works awesome in a death metal context. But I'm curious to know if anybody else has any favorite albums from the Doom genre that feature a prominent HM2 style chainsaw guitar tone. If you know of anything, leave it in the comments. I'd like to check it out and I'm sure everybody else would as well. So in the demo section, I'm gonna do some riffs off of Existential Void Guardian, but we're also going to do some riffs that would more typically feature a Boss FC2 Hyper Fuzz or even a Big Muff as the, with the EQ curve, the way it's set in this thing, it almost blends those two circuits. And so I thought it'd be cool for you to hear how it sounded in that context.
you want to get your hands on a Doom Saw, they are available for the very first time in limited quantities over on our website. That's doesitdoom.com. Once again, you got a link directly below this video in the description if you want to get your hands on one of these things. If you are curious to see a direct comparison of these two pedals, go ahead and check out the demo that HM2 Cult put out a couple days ago. He goes through the EQ curves, compares them both, runs a side-by-side -side tone demo at various settings. Really great job. You can hear exactly how the two com pedals compare. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For more content just like this, you can click the video link directly below me. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.